This episode of Charge Daz was brought to you by ChargeNet. Hello and welcome to Charge Daz. I'm Paul and this is a Tesla P100D. Today we're driving to Cromwell in central Otago in a first generation Nissan Leaf. Okay. Why are we driving this first generation Nissan Leaf? You asked. We had a beautiful new Tesla and I'm reviewing this car. Well you see, we're not reviewing the car, we're reviewing the charging network. And the charging network has to cope with the lowest common denominator, which is a first generation Nissan Leaf and it is still the most popular EV in New Zealand. And the whole point of ChargeNet is that the chargers are spaced close enough together that even with this entry level electric car, you can drive anywhere you want. And that's what we're doing today. Why are we driving to Cromwell? Because we can. New electric cars like the Model X only need to charge once, but to be safe in our 2012 Nissan LEAF, we stopped at all four fast chargers along the route to Cromwell for 10 to 20 minutes each. With their rapidly growing network of fast chargers all over New Zealand, compatible with both Japanese and European DC fast charging standards, ChargeNet has it covered. But don't just take my word for it. Lots of other electric vehicle drivers love ChargeNet. We're going to talk to some now. So why do you love ChargeNet? Well, the great thing about ChargeNet is that the chargers let us get out and about. I just really love having the ability to go anywhere I want in my leaf. It's been such an enabler. They are the only provider down there. They've allowed me to go both long distance trips and top up when I'm doing local travel and run a bit short. I hadn't really thought about it. I just like ChargeNet because they've actually got chargers. <laughs> it's the first trip we've done outside of what we'd normally use the car for. So it's, uh, it was a bit, we're a bit apprehensive, but uh, with the, like I said, with the charging stations all around the place, is, is no, we'll do it now all the time. We wouldn't, wouldn't think twice about it. Paul uses it to go to work, and then when I get to use it, I go into town, so um, I, I love it too. Uh, now, of course, ChargeNet, unlike other charging networks, you do have to pay a small fee. How have you found that? I'm happy to pay it because of the convenience. It's just great. You pull on up, the electrons start blowing. I've got no problems at all, yeah. Quite reasonable. I, I don't really worry about that at all, it's, it's a lot cheaper than petrol. You know, you're paying a few dollars each time you charge, but it's nothing like what we used to pay. It allows me to go outside the range of my vehicle and travel anywhere, even if it's half the price of petrol. It, to me it's nothing, because 90% of the time I'm charging at work or at home, three cents a K, why not pay more when you're travelling for the convenience of it. The app is awesome, it's easy to use. Uh, the app's good, oh the app's good. The ChargeNet app is absolutely brilliant. Like I turned up to the charger before and I left my RFID in my wife's purse, so I just started up the app and started the charger and away it went. It does take a bit of time, maybe 15 minutes to charge your car, go for a coffee or go for a walk, but the app sends you an alert when your car's done, so you just know when to go back. Even when we're charging, we're sitting there looking at it, so it's really good. Just an old ancient phone and I find there's no problems at all, just the interfaces on the charger itself. I didn't do anywhere near the travelling in my petrol car that I do in this, so uh, I would say I've saved a couple of thousand dollars easy so far, probably more, probably three thousand. So what you're saying is, is that you take more trips now in your electric car just because it is so cheap? I'm wearing the tyres out a lot quicker than I'd like. And would you ever buy another petrol? No. No, I'm planning not to. I would never go back to petrol. <laughs> Without ChargeNet, uh, we would be nowhere near where we are now. So there you have it. This trip would not have been possible without ChargeNet's fast charging network. If you haven't done already, do check out what we got up to once we got to Cromwell with the Tesla Model X. I can safely say we had a ludicrous time. <laughs>